Hi, my name is Mika, and today I am going to present to you my passion project on Aboriginal art. Aboriginal body painting. Aboriginals don't just do their normal painting on canvas, cables, or rock walls, or on sand, etc. They paint on their bodies too. And they don't just paint on men, they paint on women and children. Usually they paint on their bodies to tell stories to children or families. The stories they tell are about nature, the spirits of their ancestors, and dream time. Also, when they paint their bodies, they dance for tradition. They dance to also tell their stories. The paint they use to put on their bodies is ochre. Ochre is rocks that Aboriginals use to paint. They add emu eggs to the ochre to make it sticky, wet and dry, and so it becomes paint. Aboriginals mostly paint on their bodies for traditional ceremonies. They don't just do it for fun. Aboriginals do body painting to show who they are and to show respect to nature and their ancestors because showing their body paintings in a respectful way is very important to them. Why do Aboriginals use symbols in their paintings? Aboriginals use symbols in their paintings because they are following the tradition that ancestors did when they painted tens of thousands of years ago. Aboriginals use symbols to also tell stories. Stories also about dream time, the ancestors, Australian animals and spirits. Aboriginals use symbols in their paintings to also show their indigenous identity so the picture or symbols that Aboriginal painter is doing is like their signature. Unlike other paintings, their paintings are much different to Aboriginals. They don't use dot patterns or symbols and the signature is handwritten. In all the Aboriginal tribes in Australia, they all draw a lot of the Aboriginal symbols very differently to one another. They all have a different way and a lot of the symbols they do are shaped like letters. Example, a man is shaped like a U. How long have Aboriginals followed their tradition of art? Aboriginals have been following their tradition of art for generations. As I said before, from painting on cave rock walls to painting on canvas. This wonderful creation of art started from Aboriginals' ancestors. Their ancestors left all their artwork drawn on cave walls so that the next Aboriginal tribe or family can see how their ancestors did art long ago. Aboriginals' art is a, a timeline that is passed for many and many of generations. It is sometimes passed on from stories other Aboriginal children and tribes would hear some stories from their elders and when they get older, they get more interested and do the tradition art, traditional art. And so on the art is passed on to Aboriginal relatives. What are some of the symbols and what do they mean? Some of the symbols shown in Aboriginal paintings are footprints from some Australian animals, Tools Aboriginal men used, example spears and shields, habitats Australian animals live in, and tribes and meeting places. A lot of these symbols are used to tell stories about journey, dream time, or spiritual events that happened long ago, when Aboriginals were the only ones in Australia. And like I said before, all the Aboriginal tribes in Australia do some of these symbols very differently to one another. Aboriginals use dots to also tell stories. The dots are traditionally drawn in sand to teach the culture and impact the, the traditional way of the Aboriginal people and children. Also, they use dots to tell their stories because using dots is like their language written down. Why do Aboriginals use emu eggs to mix in with ochre rocks instead of other animal eggs? Aborigines use emu eggs to mix in with ochre because it's easier for Aborigines and emus are much closer to their tribes. Aborigines use emu eggs also because the yolk in the egg is nice and watery, just like normal water, but instead it's more stickier and the yolk in the emu eggs make the colour in the ochre much richer and clear. Aborigines use emu yolk for paint also because they use the shell for decorating on.